That yeah. guy has an OCD with watches I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah to give this watches, you have to be Pranav, right? <laughs> Okay, I want this watch. And the whole team came charging in. No, you can't have this watch. It's Either you join a collector's group, <laughs> which you can't because you're a retailer, or you give it to us. I know you've, you're very fond of watches. You take a lot of time to decide your watch. Can you walk us through each one of these? What you love? What attracted you towards it? I'm going to start with the one I'm wearing. The reason I got this watch is because I always used to fancy with this watch looking on Pranav's DP. <laughs> this watch was on his DP. I never even knew about this Moser, right? I'd only, yeah. On WhatsApp. On so WhatsApp. WhatsApp. So Pranav on his WhatsApp had the DP of this watch for the longest time. Yeah. So every time I used to see this watch, I used to tell Sparsh yeah. at that time, whenever you get this watch, yeah. just let me know. I'd like to try it on because it's, it's everything about it, the movement, the color, the simplicity, the, the elegance of this watch, the bracelet is just perfect. So I think this watch was uh, not an ad hoc purchase at all. It was really thought through and I think it was good selling from Pranav, putting it on his DP. And you know when we, when, a, when an owner of a watch company puts something on his DP, it has to be a little bit special, right? It was unbelievable. This watch is unbelievable. This watch is unbelievable and Ed Milan, Ed Milan, you couldn't have done a better job with this one. Huh? So the next watch I would like to talk about is Zapek. So I was in Singapore. He calls me, says, there's a dinner I'm hosting. The owners of Chapek are coming. You make sure you are in Delhi on so-and-so date. So I actually left my wife and kid behind and I came for this, this dinner. Because he said, no matter what happens, please don't give me any excuses. You need to be there for this dinner. When we went to Pranav's house, he hosted a, a Chapek event in his house. When, I, when we went to his place, the whole traffic team was there. Mr. Xavier himself was there. So he opened a case of watches, right? And, and he had probably every possible configuration of watches that traffic produces. Almost every model that exists in the catalog of traffic was available to see at one place, which again is almost impossible. Because I can tell you, I've never seen an Antarctic sitting on a show window in Ethos or any retailer in the world because they're sold out before. They, they arrive before they arrive yeah. before they arrive right so we told uh, ethos team that guys you know we would like to do a group edition of tropic antarctic and we were not sure if it's going to happen because we are a relatively new group new collectors group and and obviously um, a brand typically would do a collab only if you're a very well established group like a very well established watch collectors group though we have some great collectors in that group but I think we are still relatively a baby in the, in the watch collecting world, right? So, but the team we thought made it happen, right? So, so we have 11 piece edition of this watch, which are specifically made for the Indian market, for watch collectors in India, with the support of Ethos, right? What's special about this, this uh, watch is, it's got a stone dial. So there is gonna be no 12th version of this watch. There are 11 produced and there are only gonna be 11 watches. And it comes on a bracelet and a strap actually two straps so it's it's a very versatile watch you can wear it casually you can dress it up dress it down whatever you like and another story of this watch is Pranav wanted to keep one piece of this watch <laughs> right he says you know the stone dial it's never going to be made again I'd like to keep one again and and all of us were mean enough to take away Pranav's watch and give it to a fellow collector we said you know what there is no way you could have one of this because Either you join a collector's group, <laughs> which you can't because you're a retailer, or you give it to us. So he was kind enough to give his watch to one of the fellow collectors. The next watch does not have a very elaborate story. This is something you fall in love for the first time when you see it. So this watch is only special to those who know what Moser is all about, which is dials. The first time I saw it was at the Ethos Summit. And uh, I said, it's gorgeous. So I, I said, could I buy it? I was told, no, it's not available. It's already pre-booked. So I went and, and I'm very frequent visitor to Ethos Summit. Just, you know, sometimes just to go sit there, chat with the team, have a cup of coffee, see the new watches. It's not always about buying. It's also about experiencing, right? So every time I went there, I saw this watch. So second time I went, which was I think a month and a half later, 
I said, this watch is still there. You told me it's, it's, it's not available. Can I buy it? He says, no, sir, we are still waiting. We, we, we are not able to offer you this watch right now. So having said that, then, you know, I also lost interest and, and two years passed by, or a year and a half passed by, I don't exactly remember. And I watched, went to a store and it was still there. And I was like, you know what? This watch is meant <laughs> and, and that's when I got my hands on this particular watch. And it's, it's, it's a very special piece, as you know, it's, it's, it's got a beautiful dial. It's called the Purple Ace. I think there are only 20 pieces in the world which I made for, for this. And this is one of 20. And the final one for the day, for the day, is, is, is Snoopy. And I think what makes this watch very special is the gimmick behind the watch rather than the front, front of the watch, right? Again, this was one of these watches which was an allocation piece only. It was, uh, the team has to apply, right? Yeah. On a person's profile that, you know, this is the collector. They have to give a debrief about the collector, what all Omega they own, what all watches they have. And then the brand allocates the watch. So I think Ethos was kind enough to do that for me considering they knew how much I wanted this watch. They were also kind enough to order me a bracelet that goes very well with the watch because I think... It looks stunning. Because I nice. think that, for me, the Omega Speedmaster has to be on a bracelet. And that's a personal choice, but for me, Omega Speedy has to be on a bracelet. I think it's one of the most sought after Omega pieces. It's just, there's no complication in this watch. This is a chronograph, it's an animation. And yeah. it's, it's surprising that no one ever about thought about it before. At the end of the day, it's connected to the hands, to the chronograph, right? So it's, I think, you know, when someone sees you wearing this, they know you're a collector and you know, because this is, because this is not an easy watch to get. This is not an easy watch to get.